OS, and in this video, I'd like to demonstrate the new stock feature available within one CNC XR3. Now, as a comparison, let's first take a look at an older version of one CNC. Here's one CNC XR2, and if I right-click on the group and select Simulate, you can see really the only type of stock we can describe here is a two-dimensional or cross-sectional piece of stock. So we would select this and click OK. Now, though this is nice, one CNC XR3 has greatly improved on this. We'll let this finish out, so here's our back turning. And just about finished. All right, let's shut this down, and we're going to open up XR3 now. All right, now we're going to right-click and select Simulate Rest. Notice that there's three options here. Now, we've already talked about round bar and 2D simulation in another video. Let's take a look at stock model. What's going to happen here is one CNC is going to look on the stock layer, and any solid model that you've created on that layer is going to be used as stock. Let's shut this down for just one second. I'm going to turn the stock layer on, and you can see I've created this great piece of stock. This is a great way to represent a casting or a forging. You don't have to have that layer turned on for this to work either. You can have the layer turned off, just like I have here. I'm going to right-click, select Simulate Rest, make sure we have Stock Model, and click OK. As soon as we do that, there's our stock. So this is a great way to simulate a casting or a forging against your toolpath. And all you have to remember to do is just make sure that whatever stock you create is a solid model and make sure that it's on the stock layer. Thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.